Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome, and it's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, so family, it's good to have you back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Thank you for your emails. Please know that my emails are now open. I will be taking the first five um, to seven people that would like to have a reading. Um, by now, I should have um, in the community um, section... Um, my prices for a half an hour or an hour reading I will only be taking five to seven people and then I will be closing it again I will announce that once it's closed um what was I going to say let me do my legal disclaimers really quickly um please know that I have to state that my readings are for entertainment purposes only even if they do resonate for you um please know that by listening to my readings you are agreeing to take responsibility for yourself whilst listening to my readings and therefore after Know that I am not a doctor, a therapist, I am not a, um, a lawyer, I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that comes up in those areas, please ensure that you are actually speaking to someone who is qualified and knowledgeable, knowledgeable in those areas before taking any advice and guidance from one. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm just picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you assign a gender. You don't have to, you can swap them around if it suits you. <sighs> but do not make the story fit if it doesn't. My glasses are super... Um, smeary today I, think I just made a word up okay i've got the song stuck in my head again from the last reading that i did which was um a song called voodoo and i think it's jay balvin and someone else i don't know who else it is but um i feel like this might be a, a this may be a part two i'm not sure yet because i've got the song stuck in my head and my guides told me the reason why um the reason why someone has gone to see like a voodoo high priestess right now is because it's the solar eclipse and i want to figure out what else about the solar eclipse this deck no okay what deck let's figure it out shall we what are they why are they going today on the solar eclipse pisces they want to end something it says spirituality to ultimately experience trust your psychic knowledge of resulting from the indecision of or about they want insights that they may not be able to get by themselves it's a community wants insight on something they want insight on how to stop someone speaking out or talking about some sort of um gift that may be coming towards them or keeping a gift quiet something that may be rightfully yours or someone's in the collectives and I've still got that song playing over and over. I will make sure that I put that song down below. Okay. So this is a this is a spiritual community, or this is a community of witches, or this is a community. The thing is, I was getting um before that song when I was setting up for this reading, I heard um like it's a Christian song, and I remember I only remember bits of it because I used to be in the choir when I was a kid. Like I went to church when I was a kid. Um, joy to the world. Da -da. Something is born. That's the song I'm getting. So I don't know if this is a spiritual community or if this is a religious community. But there's something they want to keep hidden or quiet. And whoever this is, this the energy that was coming up in the past reading was um, the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who's very vocal. Maybe they stand up and they speak a lot um to an audience they could have been married to a pastor or something along those lines other people have left people have left they're trying to sabotage someone knowing what this gift is or this communication coming towards you or someone in the collective about a gift they want you to sabotage this they want you to sabotage this okay so tell me about um the solar solar um eclipse what do they think will happen it will get you to rush and do something it will make you um ah they want you to do something over this solar eclipse and i feel like it's not only just today but because remember this is a timeless collective reading um there's something about the energy that is pulled up today through whatever their intentions are is to block your third eye or your crown chakra really is to not ah they don't want you receiving downloads is the thing is as well is that even if you don't see yourself as being highly psychic or whatever that may be we all have 
crown chakras we all do we all have the ability to be psychic it's how much we practice it it that that kind of inner knowing that you know you're thinking of your friend and then they call you or you shouldn't go down that road because something's just off and then you find out later there was a massive car accident that happened down there little things like that that's your intuition that's your crown chakra that's downloads that you're getting and that information is being passed down to you by people that care for you or energies that care for you that look after you right um they're trying to block this they're trying to block some sort of gift coming to you though some sort of spiritual gift that's coming to you shut the front door this is not just about finances because i feel like there's something there as well but giving and receiving with my act this is a balancing something this is bad i feel like somebody's um soul was presented and they passed because you know the whole the whole ideology of um mayat and these these weighing of scales usually you see anubis holding them but it is the feather of mayat to a person's heart which is supposed to be their soul and at the end of your life um you are presenting yourself to Anubis who will weigh your heart to see if it is in, in e equality to the, the measurement and weight of the feather of Mayat, which is light, which is pure, you know, without sin, so to speak. And if it's not, and it and your heart weighs more, then you are thrown, your soul is thrown to Amit, and Amit just destroys the soul, the energy is gone. But with it being this way, something's being balanced out. Someone here has passed a massive test. A massive test or has closed off a cycle or has finished a spiral and is moving on to the next one and moving on to the next one means gaining some sort of gift some sort of spiritual gift or knowledge because that number at the top as well is a 10 this is the ending of something and i heard pleading whoever this queen not queen of swords the knight of swords is this person that is this person is very argumentative or they like the sound of their voice they may um they speak a lot in front of other people they don't let other people get a word in sideways it's like you need to listen to me and it's what i say goes they want you to do something or they want someone in this collective in the collective to do something that will um block your crown chakra from being able to um hear your guides or hear mayat if you work with mayat or isis if you work with isis Someone here just definitely has an Egyptian connection, whether that's, you know, ancestry, actual, you know, DNA from um, um, blah, 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 Egypt, or whether that is the energy of whatever it is that's protecting you. Something big is coming at her dramatic. They really want to block this. So going to see some um, voodoo high priestess. I heard that's the only way. This person may have been blocked themselves. They may not be able to. I heard, they, I heard they took the Lord's name in vain. Stop. So this person, if this person is part, part of like um, a church group or a temple or a mosque or something like that, they have been speaking one thing to the masses within like this, you know, this holy place. And then they're going and doing effery and nastiness and sending out bad juju to somebody who is actually of God or of Vishnu or of Allah or, you know, I heard of Muhammad. So this person has had their um, privilege taken away. And they're trying to block you. And they, they, this person is incessant. This person is flipping incessant. Lost magic, atonement, rebalance. I told you this person has lost a lot. But if you look at my last reading, because this is like a follow on from that. There was a second person who came out as a knight of wands okay this is somebody who either sleeps around or is very physical very tactile um this person was taking orders from the knight of from the knight of um swords and the knight of wands this tactile person is closer to you than you think or they're traveling towards you or someone in the collective there's um atonement that they want or there's something that they want um, you also have a king, not a king, you have a knight of coins coming forward. Now this person seems to have separated from the other two and is making their way maybe with some sort of truth. And what I was getting in the last reading is that this knight of wands and this knight of coins, these two different people, they're trying to rush to get to you or their target before the other one because they want to spill the beans or they want to you know, share the tea or spill the tea or whatever. But they're going to omit certain things that put them in a bad light. Now, I feel like the Knight of Wands was still working with 
this person who's lost their abilities, because you know what? The lost magic atonement and rebalance, that came out in the last reading as the Knight of Wands, this tactile person, this person that's very touchy feely, they lost their magic. Now it's coming out in this one as the um the Knight of, of Swords did. These two did something together and it went tits up, excuse my language, Georgia Romance. So they were working together, it was more a business than it was a romance. You got Taurus, your beliefs, the costs of, use the most direct way and woman holding a heart and level up and daughter romance in reverse whoever this um knight of wands is that's coming towards you this person is coming towards you also with some sort of like um they want to level up they want this person may come forward like an adorning fan or adoring fan excuse me depending on what it is that you do for a job because you've got your beliefs, the cost of the most direct way and level up. And then you have the daughter romance upside down. This person is going to be a fake um, a fake um, love bomber. They want to date you or something along those lines. But they want what you have. They want what you have. They're part of this community. Daughter romance. Let me pop that down over there. And level up. Oh, don't speak on it. Don't speak on what exactly. Don't speak on what the man holding the coin Oh, so there's been some sort of conversation between this Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands before this Knight of Wands left. I don't know if this is an open relationship, but I'm getting it could be a same sex relationship. It doesn't have to be, but I'm getting that. That whoever it is that is coming out as the woman holding the heart is the same sex as you or what you identify as. Appreciation, happy family is in reverse. Okay, so there's been some sort of conversation between this Knight of Wands and this Knight of Swords before the Knight of Wands started coming towards you. And they were talking about the Knight of Coins. They were literally saying, this dude, this man holding the coin, we can't talk about certain things. Don't talk about the fact that, you know, this person was, it was an unhappy family. Well, it, well it's not even just a family. There's some sort of setup or some sort of connection. It's given me like Will Smith and Jada Pinkett when we all found out that, you know, they've been together for so long, but they literally might as well be single because they're living on opposite ends of a massive house where they don't have to see each other. And one of them is sleeping with their son's friends. Weird. Oh, shish. Just weird, right? That's the energy that I'm getting here. And something, someone's lost money. Someone's lost a lot of money. I feel like all three, because I don't know too much about this Knight of Coins yet, I'm going to go back into that. But I do feel like out of the three, the Knight of Coins may have known what was going on or had an inkling and did nothing about it. Or didn't investigate more because they didn't want to involve themselves in the drama of who it was that they were married to or in union with. Or who, it, who they were helping financially. They didn't appreciate having to do this, but they, they just did it. Now I've got um, BTS, Boy With Love in my head. Someone's very, very anxious. Someone's very, very anxious. Or oh, this is, ah, this is what they're trying to do over the solar plexus, the solar plexus. They may be doing it to your solar plexus, but they're definitely over this solar eclipse. They're trying to work on someone's anxiety, on someone's stress, on how to self-sabotage so that you block your own crown. So you walk away from your ancestors. Woman holding the coin is upside down. I'm going to put this one here. Oh, something backfired. Oh, so you have um, a Knight of Coins and the Knight of Swords. They were together. They were definitely together. I had listened to the sermon. Listen to the sermon. That wasn't even supposed to be in there, and it says false person. Brilliant. Prosperity lies ahead came out as well. You have a, a knight of coins who realised that the person that they were with was a false person, that they were lying, that they were wearing a mask. Um, there's a lot of letters in the back there. I've never noticed that. Again, that's coming out again. CM. NCM. I don't know if somebody has that with those initials. MC or CM. NCM. No, that's so strange.
Mm. There's been a separation in the family. Healer of all ages. Someone's very impatient or wants you to be impatient. They want you to be impatient about a tough cycle um, and how the end of it is going to be approaching, but you don't know when. This was part of it. This false person has drained this um, knight of coins. They've drained them. They did some sort of spell work on this knight of coins and it backfired. They were trying to go for the crown chakra as well and it backfired. And I feel like whatever they were doing, this is before this person left them. This may have been um, the canon event for this person to actually leave them, for this knight of coins to leave them because this person is being drained financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Let me find out about that. Yeah, they're doing this to a healer of all ages. They're doing this to somebody who's very charitable and very open and very kind. And somebody who, like, when they get blessings, will then share that with other people. Patience and decision. There's frustration here. There's definitely frustration here from this false person, from this knight of swords. What's the frustration? I can't do it myself, I heard. They have to rely on other people. Personal power, the mysteries of life, a major change. <clears throat> yeah, they can't do this themselves. But they need to get other people to help them. And as I say that, you have Aquarius coming out, the 11th house, your circle of friends, associations and freedom. They're frustrated that they cannot take you down by themselves. They can't stop a radical rebirth from coming through, which is part of this Mayat energy of giving and receiving. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because whatever download comes through, I, do, I heard it's a catalyst for love. I don't feel like it's going to be like um, someone goes to sleep and they wake up and they're like, I know, you know, I know the knowledge of the entire world. I know everything within the cosmos. No, it's more to do with either what your purpose is, what your specific assignment is before you came into corporeal form, what it is that you need to let go of. And I, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I feel like it's going to, it's going to open up very slowly. You're going to be given a dream download or you may be washing the dishes or something and all of a sudden you remember something and you're like oh my gosh that's what it means and the more that you think of it the more it takes you down that rabbit that rabbit hole of kind of just learning more and more and more about whatever that may be and that is why in some of my readings we've been coming up with um like either going to school or studying because there may be something like esoteric that you decide that you want to learn and you pay for a course and doing that gives you more downloads and more downloads and it's snow it snowballs and snowballs and snowballs and snowballs and this is what they're trying to block now the first thing from happening they don't want that radical rebirth coming in for you this person's very impatient because i heard pay me now i'll do it later so whoever they've gone to um if they're not a regular, they don't go to this person a lot or, or it costs quite a lot of money, they want them to pay them first. Yeah, they want them to pay them first to remove something from them. Caring connections in reverse, all tied up, angel of love in reverse, doing light. They have attachment. They have something, oh, they have something blinding them and their throat chakra. So I don't know, maybe this man holding the coin in reverse, this knight of coins has blocked them has literally blocked them has been like i don't want to be around you anymore i, I don't want to be part of this i didn't realize how, what you were doing or how far you would go i don't want to be part of this this person has cut, cut off all contact they're trying to remove they're trying to remove this because you have here at first i thought what are they trying to remove some sort of karmic no they're trying to remove either the memories that this person has of them that are um, negative or the way that they feel about them as you have the angel of love in reverse and then you have the light in reverse as well and then it says here keep your involvement hidden the 12th house this person wants to to be seen in this masculine's energy as positive again they've lost their magic but they've also lost their facade of being sweet and nice or, or holy or something along those lines in the eyes of this masculine, this person knows they want nothing to do with them. Nothing, nothing. And I heard there's something about their child as well. Something happened to their child. That was a catalyst for them. 
This was a catalyst, something happened to their child. I don't know if their child's in hospital, if their child has been taken into social services, something along those lines, or child protective services. And that is when this masculine realized that they were with the wrong person. They were completely with the wrong person and they left. They moved away from a karmic completely. Right, let me change to another deck. Tell me more. Tell me about the person that is um, the closest to the collective. I'm going to tell the man, the, the man holding the coin. Okay. Curl throw. Bright stave. Choice. Decision making. Hearth. Hearth or health? Hearth. Um, the game between desire and destiny. The dance of life. Brings things to fruition. Initiation. Sexual intercourse. Rebirth. Mystery. Fertility. Laughter. Music. Secret. Di divination and chance. So we have had, what came up twice? Because I saw it and then I forgot about it. Rebirth. They're trying to, that's what they're trying to stop as well, this union. So this union between someone and the collective, be that you or someone else. And this man holding the coin in reverse. This is destined in some way. And they're trying to stop this. Wow. Okay. Tell me more about the man holding the coin. Intentions towards the collective. Intentions towards the collective, please. Who wants cake? It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. I'll eat yours and mine. Spoilt. Have my cake and eat it. I want everything. So at the moment, this person may be sulking. They want a better life, but they need to grow up. They, they need to grow up a little. But then it says here, you deserve the finer things in life. So, and you've got conflict coming out here. So this person, it's like they want to do right, but they still need, they still have to grow. Um, they, they may find you very, very attractive, or you may find them very, very attractive when you meet them. Um, you deserve the finer things in life. So below's coming out as well. This could be someone from the past, or this could be somebody that's actually not for you. I don't know. I'm going to put that down there. And so below coming out. Okay, up if this is um, a destined high-level soul connection and down if this is not. Up for high, down for low. Okay. Oof. Well, that's, no, it's not. It really isn't. See, that's the thing. This person wishes that it was. I feel like this is not. It says extremist religious views, horizontal plane 3D thinking, rigid views, no desire to learn about other cultures, racism, questionable ethics, uses religious books to text to slander and judge others, stagnant, in a rut, my way or the highway, cannot think for themselves, uh, fearful of alternative ways of thinking. Now this came out on its side and I chose to pick it up this way, meaning this person may be unlearning some of the negative biases that they've grown up with, but they are not an equal partner for someone here. They are not. You have here magnetic force field, reflecting deflecting the negative elemental beings and fire they this person may feel more protected around you or they may want you to protect them in some way and then you have don't invest upside down so this person really wants you to invest in them they really want you to invest in them okay now should the collective invest in them up the yes down for me up the yes down for me Up for yes, down for no. Well, this has gone up for yes. The Fae wants to speak to you. Help us from the inner realms of protection. I feel this is more to do with you asking your higher selves and those that protect you energetically what it is that they actually want. Why are they coming forward? There's a reason for this. This may be temp this temptation, some sort of temptation. Who is this? Give me a couple. And co-create by taking part. This person's trying to manifest you in. This person's trying to manifest you in. Co-create by taking part. Three things you are grateful for. Gratitude creates abundance. I've been told to go back to whoever this voodoo priestess is that lives in a high rise. That's what came out in the last one. Next to some sort of government building. Tell me about this high priestess. They're self-employed. They're self-employed and crystal healing is upside down with new business ideas. So they may 
this person ah so this um this pisces energy or this knight of swords energy may have wanted to work with them and they were like no but i can't you pay me for that's why they were like no you pay me first and then i'll do it we're not partners you're a client just because you used to do a b and c doesn't mean that we're going to team up because they came out with new business deal and then it says on, underneath all bets are off walked away threw in the towel backed out cut their losses cut and ran so this false person has cut and run. What are they doing to this um, knight of coins? What did they do to them? Toxic partner, codependent, narcissistic, and karmic. But this person is this person is definitely trying to trying to heal. I feel like um, the energy that's coming through from whoever's guides this is, is it's not about investing into this knight of, of coins if you don't want to, because this person is not, um, they're not healed enough to have a relationship. They may want to come in as a business partner and it's not about investing in them. It may be finding closure for something that resonates with who they are. Because if this is someone from the past, it may be bringing in closure for someone here. If they are not someone from the past, but they hold, they hold that old energy, it's seeing whether or not you have healed whatever that wound may have been that would have reacted to their energy. Because you have got here, look, it's a fake twin flame. Fake, jealous, demanding, insecure, dominate, uh, drain and selfish. And then you have, just please don't say you love me because I might not say it back. Doesn't mean my heart stops skipping when you look at me like that. And there's no need to worry when you see just where we're at. Just please don't say you love me because I might not say it back. And that's Gabrielle Elpin. Please do not. Please don't say you love me. So this person here. Okay, so they've moved away from a lot of toxicity, but this person is not ready to commit if they wanted to have something romantic with you, even if there is a lot of fire and passion between the both of you. Mm. Don't worry, your answers are protecting you, and it's upside down. If you okay, okay, okay. I feel like maybe. This um, knight of coins and this knight of wands may have been the same person. Is are, are they? I've been told no. But I don't get this because there's something going on here with um, this knight of wands coming forward and getting you to do something that will block your ancestors or block your communication or block these downloads. And I'm getting the energy now that if you sleep with this person and this person is going to be, um, I heard, a very horny or very like spicy energy. And like this person is is like an established F boy or F girl or F he, she, they. And even though they're moving away from somebody who was very, very, um, somebody who was, who liked to argue, liked to have the, the, last, the last laugh or the last word or something along those lines. Um, because this person, this king of, of coins, I keep saying king of coins because I keep getting like a businessman, but they're the knight of coins. So they bring money, but they may spend it very, very quickly. Um, this person is giving me double an alter ego as well, like goes to church, you know, or brought up very religious. Um, but then behind closed doors is a, a freaky deek. That's what I'm getting here. If you sleep with this person, they are going to be able to block something. They're going to block some sort of, I heard, an ancestral gift from coming through. Your, your guardians and your guides will not give it to you. This person may be doing this because they want to heal trauma. They see you, I told you, they see you as a safe place. They want to break karmic cycles. They want to transmute stagnant energy and they want to love by self. But they're wanting to do that through you as you as a vessel. If you do this, your ancestors will not be able to protect you. So I want to know if... The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Coins are the same person. So now I had no, but I want clarity. Up for yes, down for no. Up for yes, down for no. Yeah, they are. They are the same person. They may be a Scorpio. There's me thinking that it was like three people and it's two. I don't know. Then maybe this masculine has um, an alter ego or they have a... I don't think they have split personality disorder. And I, I would be able to diagnose that anyway. But there's something here about having the devil on the shoulder and the angel on the shoulder and literally turning from one to the other. It's like you're light and you're dark. Because it says here with the eighth house, mystery and inheritance, comfortable with vulnerability, 
good at balancing the books, um, SEX to connect, Kundalini awakening, medium, mystical seer, connection to deities, divine and higher self, reads people easily, draws prosperity easily and joint ventures. Now this can be them or this can be how they see you. And you have inheritance coming out. This is a spiritual inheritance. This, this is the healer of all ages, yeah. This this person is coming for... Um, they're coming for more than one reason. One, because they don't want to be in toxicity anymore, but they haven't unlearned that yet. They haven't wiped that, that slate completely clean yet. So they're still acting out of wounds that show toxicity or wounds that show dysfunctionality. And it's almost like they want you to teach them. Um, listen to your gut, truth, positive connection, speaking your truth in social media. So they may be watching you on social media. Um, or someone is definitely watching you on social media. They're trying to make you stress, or they're making you, they try to make you self sabotage in some way. <clears throat> I feel like it may be this. I keep saying Queen of Swords, so I'm getting it that this may be a feminine energy, a toxic feminine energy is coming through. Um, this second house, money and work, this person's going broke. Um, they have debts, there's fraud going on, tight fisted, illegal transactions, embezzlement. They may have lost their job, or they were trying to get you to lose your job. Um, low moral compass, stealing other people's possessions. Block from the law of abundance, draw drawing in low dense energy and entities, unreliable, flippant, lazy, repossession of home and car bankruptcy. This is the reason why that voodoo high priestess didn't want to work with them. Because that person, I don't know, um, this voodoo high priestess, I think they work with all types of energies, both dense and light. Um, they mix it up in some way. But this person has, I heard they have rules or something. And there's certain things they won't touch or there's certain energies they won't go, go around. I had no, they will do it all. Set a house on fire. They set someone's house on fire. Oh my goodness. Repossession of home and car. Someone's house was on fire. And that, I should have shown you that card because it said six to nine months. I feel like something's happening to um, this night of ones right now. They're running out of money. And I heard they've got responsibilities to this community because they promised them something. They promised some sort of level up. They promised some sort of financial security and lux but luxury because we've had um, tourists come out twice. You know, your beliefs, the costs of use the most direct way and, and then here, the di most direct way to go broke. So this person has been going to this um, voodoo pr high priestess and trying to drain someone's finances, trying to shut down someone's business, trying to remove all the care and connections. We've got eight house coming out, uh, eight, eight house coming out here, but we've had tourists now come out three times, three times. It's all to do with your income and your dreams, because it does say on here, prosperity lies ahead. And there's another one. And I was thinking of the other one where it says, um, your dreams need a practical plan, a major chain mysteries of life. They're rushing into this. Stay at home parent. This could be a stay at home parent. This could be a stay at home parent who's doing this, who's running out of money. Tell me about the community. Gold bars. Gold bars, this could be music in industry. Um, eat something hearty, shoes off, feet on the earth, seed sound, salt bath, breathing, te breathing techniques. Now, and teaching is upside down. There is... I don't know if there's an illness or there's something spreading in this community. Etheric sickness. There's some sort of sickness that is passing through and they're trying to ground themselves or ground something away from them. Um, and they don't know what to do. They don't know how to get rid of it. And I feel like this is literally karma knocking at the door. But I heard death knocking at the door. So there may be Archangel. Is it Azrael? Archangel Azrael is the Archangel of Death. Maybe coming to someone here family maybe coming to someone in that someone's family bro and they don't know how to get rid of this in any way shape or form because they wanted the finer things in life right but they wanted to steal it from somebody else and they were stealing someone's energy this is stealing someone's energy draining someone's life force or trying to because they wanted to have a major change they wanted prosperity lying ahead for them and not for you and it says block sacral chakra, discord in the family. So this community may be um, related. Depression, not bathing regularly, dislike of women, mother issues, homelessness, ungrounded, moving frequently, numb to emotions of self and others, erratic emotional outbursts, lacking empathy, cold and calculated. Limiting view is upside down. 
So that's that may be why also this this masculine energy, this knight of coins got out when they did. Because there is the, the air of death around someone. Teamwork. Yeah, this is all breaking up now. All breaking up. And look at those colours, solar plexus and sacral chakra. And you know what? I should have said this when I first tapped in and I haven't done it in a while. I've done like an energy check and I could feel in my solar plexus and I could feel here. It's almost like that energy of when you're going to go on a first date with someone and you feel nervous here, here and here. And that's what I was feeling, but it wasn't nervousness. It was like just heaviness, like someone had swallowed like a big block of iron or something. Paid to have readings on you. Mystic knows who you are and how powerful you are. Divination in play. So I, oh, they may have gone to this voodoo high priestess and this person was like, I'm not working with you no more. I'm not, you owe too much flipping money. That's why they said you have to pay up first. You owe too much money. And what's underneath? Block, they blocked them. Oh, so they wanted to do something over the, um, I keep going to say the solar plexus. But they wanted to do something over the solar eclipse and they were blocked. They want generational wealth. That's what they're going for. They want generational wealth. But this voodoo high priestess has blocked them. Surveillance, living out of their car. Someone has lost their home because of the stuff that they've gone through. Because of the stuff that they've been doing to someone in the collective. Constantly. And how they've got the rest of the family involved. Moving out, living out of their car, driving by your home. Obsession and private investigator. They were trying to figure out something. What were they trying to figure out? What were they trying to find by doing this? Watching. They're just watching. Contract. They're watching to see if you've you've taken this contract yet. La, 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 la. They want to know if you're unprotected yet. They want to know if you're unprotected yet. They knew that this knight of coins coming forward, this knight slash... Um, knight of, of one slash knight of, of coins this person coming forward they knew that if you guys slept together if you had any type of like intercourse that you'd be unprotected and they're waiting for this to happen they're waiting for this to happen because they want there's an egyptian energy that they're trying to remove protective shield connection to angels they're trying to remove all of this they want you to self-sabotage. Look, get out of planning mode and into action mode. And then actor, actress. So this is playing a part. They want someone to play a part. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else we have here. I will show you who to trust. It's all right to be alone. So I don't know if somebody doesn't like um, being by themselves. And I feel like this Mercury retrograde that we're going through, if that is the case, this very much is confronting our inner demons or confronting the reason why we feel like being alone means abandonment. You have uh, siblings, younger friends and responsibility. Something you thought finished first back to life. And an elder will teach you is upside down. Yeah, these people, there may be somebody in your family that's helping them. There's someone here helping them. It could be a little brother or a little sister, younger friends, siblings. This is something that, I don't know, did they try doing this before? Yeah, they tried doing this before. But the, they, they got the wrong advice or they didn't listen to their advice because this mermaid and the turtle and elder will teach you is in reverse. They don't know, and teaching was in reverse before, that card that's just a teaching on it with a, like a person bending over to a child. There's something that they don't know what to do. They don't know how to get rid of something. They don't know how to get rid of something on them. And I've just got that song Voodoo stuck in my head right now. Take care of yourself. Reconsider your alliances. Make new connections. Someone was able to ground themselves and remove something because they cut someone off. They've done a cord removal, a cord cutting of some sort. Right? That was straight on the floor, right under my chair as well. Yep. Thank you. Let me see. A, pro a magical protector is there for you. So, this is what they may have wanted this voodoo high priestess to do for you they wanted you to be unprotected we've got a lot coming out of unprotection and i don't know why i'm being pulled over here
let your friends help you ask for and accept help from others and then pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you there is somebody still in your circle that is um, passing information back to this knight of swords separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon they may also be watching this knight of pentacles to see whether or not they've contacted you yet it's time to disconnect from the world and retreat I don't feel like that's for you. I feel like this is more um, this fake twin flame and the drama that's a, that surrounds them and this community. Someone here is worried. It says, it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And what do we have over here? Giving and receiving with my app. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership and playfulness and let your friends help you. This is the reason why there's been somebody lurking around in someone's social media friend groups and things like that, or someone at work, because they want you to get with this person. So are you telling me that the Knight of Wands is another person? I heard it's the accumulation of the same thing, because I'm just looking at the community now, but I, I don't know why I keep flitting between. Someone here is confused. They're confused by their advances. So this Knight of Pentacles, this is what I mean. This person is ingrained into having like an alter ego, one that goes to church or temple and the other one that is chatting women up or chatting men up or chatting whoever up. Um, give your relationship a chance. This person wants to come in and try and flirt with you or you have somebody in, um, I heard your comment sections or in your social media friend accounts that's going to try and reach forward and give you advice. But this person is a snake. Let your friends let, let your friend let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others someone is waiting on social media for you to talk about separation about retreating from someone or something that happened in the past for them to wade in and give advice in some way they want you to go towards this person to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to shine and it is safe for you to love they want you to be playful and they want you to work with this person. It gives them protection in some way. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like that may be coming from this um, Knight of Coins. I don't know, is this person from the past as in like a romantic partner? For some, yes. My life is sweet. They see that your life is very, very sweet and they want part of it. They don't want to be around these people anymore because it was fun at the start when they were making bank or doing whatever they were doing. But it's not fun now. It's not fun now. Karmic relationship and not enough. So you may have walked away from somebody who was a karmic, a karmic because it wasn't enough for you. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues and jealousy. This person may have been very, very jealous. Um, I feel like this, this Knight of Swords loves to run their mouth they love running their gums man they like to um talk the talk but they can't walk the walk now this is like someone trying to threaten you and that's what i was getting by um take care of yourself jealousy um and then having the throat chakra upside down so they may have been trying to do something to your throat chakra or they were paying someone to do something to your throat chakra and it has actually reversed onto them and in my last reading it was talking about how certain people do not believe in karma and it's only the people that are doing the most that go, I don't believe in karma because nothing bad has happened to me. But something's happening to your family. Something's literally happening to your family, to this community of people around you. They're trying to ground themselves and they cannot get rid of something. And I feel like um, that's where the separation came in. Because this elder will teach you. I don't know if this, like I said at the start, this Knight of Swords is also like the second in command to... Um, a spiritual group or a witch coven or something along those lines and they gave advice to this community and the community took it on good faith and it f them up it's f someone's sacral chakra up so they may be infertile now but there's death's door someone's knocking at death's door someone here is um i heard it's a final countdown rotted and you've got here um Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you, and it's upside down. So whoever it is that you've walked away from friendship-wise, this person is an informant, without a doubt. But you've got clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honour, protection and power around you. 
Okay, so there's someone in um there's someone in your circle who may be using like a fake a fake profile or they may be connected to one of your family mom members um a mother i wanted to say a brother a sister a cousin something like that because they can't see you or they can't get they can't see what this fake twin flame is doing either look what come up fake twin flame that's the second time <clears throat> and it says here watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out and then you have a uh, yin yang zen balance union duality coupling and complement each other is upside down they're trying to watch this fake twin flame because this person's moved away this person's hiding themselves because they want to move on they are the one that's going to come forward with all this sexy energy and try to get jiggy jiggy with you and it's the biggest mistake that you can make right now because this person's going to come forward being all light-hearted wanting to find out about you things coming to light things coming to light right it's almost like did you know what was happening in the background adapt change and heal and then you've got masks they're going to drop their mask right but they're not going to show you everything because you have passion upside down this person may not even they may not even um either find you attractive in the way of oh this is somebody that i want to spend some time with it's more this is somebody that i want to f-u-c-k <clears throat> because they're still self-absorbed told you this person wants to heal but they don't know how to but they just don't want to be around this drama self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship and love bombing but they're going to tell you that they separated from somebody who was doing this and that they're actually welcoming love and they want to meet the one they want to open their heart and they want to get together and they think you're perfect come now so just a lot of a lot of messy energy of these people it's because they also see that you are going to have abundance coming towards you Keeping because you keep a positive mindset, you manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. It's coming for someone. There's a massive change coming in. Um, and there seem to be many players on this board who are all running for the one person who actually um deserves whatever this blessing is, because it's it's uniquely theirs, right? Now you have here mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds and introspect, and it's upside down, and I like you. So someone has, um, a, someone here's got a crush on you, but it's very one-sided. It's almost like um, being about 14 years old and a new artist comes out, and you're just like, oh my God, that person's so fine. I want to marry them and have their babies. And then, and I'm saying that because when I was 14, I wanted to marry Brian Literal from the Backstreet Boys. I was just like, oh my gosh, his jawline. Oh my God. And I wrote, um, I had, I took like A4 posters of Brian Literal and I had them over every single like school book that I had. Every single one of them. And I used to practice how, <laughs> I used to practice writing Brian Literal. And outside my house, like on the porch, I'd carved a heart. Seriously, obsessed carved a heart into like the wall and then put my b j four b l it was still there when i left it was it was there i think even 10 years ago um <clears throat> but it's that type of energy of being obsessed and thinking of nothing more than that and it's almost like fantasy also we're gonna get married and we're gonna go on a vacation here and oh my gosh it's gonna be so much fun and it's like, come on, man, you're never going to meet this person. And this person is probably way too old for you, Brian Literal. Sorry. Love of my life. Um, but you have someone who does have a crush on you. Someone does have a crush on you. and But they're fantasizing about um, being with you. And it's not very realistic. This person is a fake twin flame. They are a fake twin flame. Even if they've moved away from their own toxic partner, they are only coming forward because they know that you're going to receive what you need and that you're having progression, that you are arriving, you're moving on. And with closure issues, this person, if this is someone from your past, they have closure issues. Or if they're not someone from your past, like I said, they're holding that old energy and they may have closure issues from the last person that they were with, this knight of wands, this person that likes to have the last laugh or the last word. This person was going to want to date you. Look, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan and set a date. This person wants to date you. They want this uh, They want this relationship to evolve. But do you know what I'm getting is that this person imagines, like they daydream about dating you and then it progressing, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So they want growth. They want healing. But again, they want you to be the vessel to do that for them. And this person is very self-absorbed. Self very, 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 very. Well, let me 
Let's see what else wants to come out. Yeah, you've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Some sort of business that they have has got has gone kaput or um, they've lost a lot of money. They've definitely lost a lot of money. And I don't know if they've been saving up money to bring something as an offering or an investment or something along those lines. Chariot, healing and movement. Hierophant in reverse. Hermit. Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. The chariot is about healing, but it's also about motion. So this person may have a car. I don't know if they have like a really nice, nice car. There's something here about um, making themselves look like they have more money than they do. This person has gone through some sort of divorce or some sort of settlement. And that's what that's what's wiped them out as well. Because you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It didn't go as they expected in any way, shape or form. This person may have become self-employed. Um, they're definitely keeping to themselves or they are eating. This person may really work out. They may have really nice arms, irrespective of gender. Um, I heard a nice tushy. I don't know who said that, a nice tushy. Because the Hermit is the sixth house, which looks at um, work and work routines. It also looks at health and fitness, nutrition, uh, mental health. This person's mental health may not be doing great. This person wants to heal after this separation. The Wheel of Fortune, they're, they're looking forward to you as the Wheel of Fortune. Six of Cups, this is someone from the past. Or they want the past to end. They want something from the past to end. Two of Cups, yeah, they want balance. So this person is coming towards you. So the thing is as well, is that they want all of these lovely things, but they are quite happy to create this fantasy in their head. But when it comes to the reality of it, nothing is like a fairy tale nothing is like the movies that is all you know it's all scripted there there's a need for give and take there's a need for honesty in accountability for actions for mistakes for effing up you know and this person is it's almost like on paper they don't mind doing that but actually doing it in person is, is they won't do it they won't do it in any way shape or form they just want you to heal them once they want stability and they're letting they had to let go of a home maybe or this is the person that you let go of. This is the person that you left a home from to have a new beginning. And they tried blocking this. They literally have tried blocking this and they want you to give them money. They want money. Or they want your new beginning. Ace of Wands. And they'll do this with sexy time. Stay away from them. Seriously. Stay away from the trouser snake. For whoever needed to hear that. Two of Pentacles. Your transition into having the Two of Cups, having a healthy relationship, does not involve them. It really doesn't. And this person's going to come forward with like um, words of undying love because you have the moon upside down wanting to give you the world, you know, saying that, you know, they've made a mistake. They made a mistake with a high priestess. They let competition get in the way. They let deceit get in the way. This person is going to try and love bomb you. They're going to try and love bomb you. They're going to pretend that they have lots of money, that they're really settled, that they've really changed. And they may be on the way to do that, but they haven't actually. And they have this way too much messy energy in the past or around them from this community, be that family members, um, this knight of wands who they use like airbending or they curse people with their tongue. They curse people with their tongue. They may use um, religious texts also, the Three of Pentacles, so the justice in reverse. But this is the thing as well, is I don't know what they were doing that was illegal. They were doing something dodgy together, okay? They were collaborating. They were collaborating. This king, I keep going to say king of um, wands or king of coins, but this knight of coins was collaborating with someone's family. This is the community. Um, and with this person, with this, this knight of wands, to do something illegal. And they were lying about it. Look, they continued a lie. They continued a lie about you or continued a lie about your business or something along those lines. They were a couple, without a doubt. And then they went all sour. Then they realised they didn't like where they were. They didn't like it wasn't fun anymore. Yeah, they were, but they were invested. They were very happy to do some sort of love scam together. And what was the one that I saw in there? The lovers. The lovers to the tower. To judgment in reverse so these two people they've had a massive tower happen to them what was the massive tower what was the massive tower that happened to them empress okay, knight of swords in reverse ten of wands something very disempowering 
something very disempowering that this Knight of Swords did not want to speak about or kept to themselves. Oh, so this, this Knight of, of, of um, Coins is now feeling used. That's what it is. They feel used. There was some sort of um, illusion of being like Bonnie and Clyde, going at it together. You know, we can fleece people. I can pretend to be dating someone or whatever. But us two, we're real. And it wasn't. Because the Ten of Wands is um, continued a continued burden, carrying something that you shouldn't. And this was really disempowering. Really disempowering. What was it? Strength is upside down. Something about the way that they treated their child or how they, they neglected their child. And went out drinking. Went out drinking with friends. And when, when this um, night of coins might have been like, maybe you need to hold up on how much you're drinking. They got blocked or something. I don't know, this person, it just seems like the, um, the Knight of, of Swords seems very dramatic. They seem very um, selfish and they should not be a parent in any way, shape or form. And I think that came out in my last reading. They have lost their magic. They've lost something's happened to their third eye. Um, and they're having to rely on going to other people to do the work for them. But then no one wants to work with them. And that air of death in the community is scary. That's scary, man. Let me see this one cut hither what time is it yeah yeah they lost their house someone's lost their house they had a house that maybe was gifted to them that they're having to give back by the neighbor yeah they took something it wasn't even theirs they didn't work for it they only paid a mortgage for it anything else that wants to come out before i go so we've got gift and we've got distant horizons so somebody has been wanting to give you a gift for a while and they may have had to block their journey for a while because of the money that they lost this is the knight of coins this is the knight of coins lovers yeah ex-lover community being kicked out of some sort of community and the house they got kicked out of their home um they broke up with not only the person that they were either married to or had a child with or whatever that may be but also a community of people didn't want to be around them anymore and this community of people the same ones that are now sick and you know dropping like flies and something has gone through the courts without a doubt about someone's job something's going through the courts about someone's job what is that what's happening about someone's job this mature woman and adjudication courtship and the child it's to do with this kid I knew it's to do with this kid. Now that they're not together, they may be fighting about this kid, or it's um, this person is going to court because of neglect of this child. Because though this child's been taken into social services, it may have been very severe, and they have now had to go to court. I had a death of a child. Oh my gosh. Why that's reminding me of um, that lady, that evil lady who left her little baby to go on holiday, to go on vacation for 10 days. And her her poor little baby passed away. 10 days, dehydration, no food, you know, died alone and, and frightened. And that is just disgraceful. It's disgusting. I can't even. And it's given me the energy of this. I'm not just talking about um, a mum or a dad ignoring their child and the child is neglected in that way. No, I'm talking about like not being given food or not being not being having their diapers changed not feeding them something along these lines and it was when this knight of of coins realized they were like nah i'm out this is awful i don't even think this is their child this may not have been the knight of coins child that was something else that came out in one of my other readings of them finding out that the child that they've been raising wasn't theirs but then to find out also that the, the mother or the father or whoever has been has been neglecting them to that point, to willfully neglecting them, this person's going through court. No wonder they don't want to be around them. I wouldn't want to be around someone like that. Pure evil. Pure evil. You've got owl here. A crisis will allow you to, to look into yourself and make an important revelation, which is what this person did. Is what this person did. Think bigger. Moon in Cancer, spend time with family or helping others avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. So this person may have wanted to go and spend time with their family and they're realising that their family were helping. 
So their family may have been doing something when it came to children or willfully ignoring this child, as well as doing something towards you. Tell me what I need to know. I've got to go. I've got to go. And it said, oh, and you went down as well. So let's see what card that was. Oh my gosh, I can't pick them up. The nails. Pink cups. Someone here, whoever the actual father is, was either not on the scene or was not taking care of this child either. You have cats in reverse. Make time to focus on your spiritual well-being and connect to the medical, metaphysical world around you. And you also have half to full moon. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction upside down. This is what means there's a lot of sick people here. A lot of sick people because they knew what was happening with this child and they didn't do anything about it. Or they were... No, they were aiming their, their sights at you or someone in the collective because they thought that whatever was happening to the kid was because of you sending stuff, sending spell work or sending mad juju. That's why you've got to take care of yourself coming up twice, right? So this, this horrible person, this piece of absolute turdish-ish was hurting their own child and then claiming that you were doing it. Wow, that's why our whole community was doing whatever they were doing. And now they are they are facing the consequences. Pisces, beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. Well, it's an ending as well, isn't it? And then you have here, live in the moment. This person was very irresponsible. I don't know if they have mental health issues that they do not, they're not supporting or they're not getting support for. Sagittarius and Scorpio. Be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. This is what they were trying to do to you or to some sort of connection. And I'm not getting that it's a connection with this knight, um, this knight of coins. It's someone else. You've got Scorpio here, moon in Scorpio. Um, negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energies into possible positive, positive physical activities like decorating or gardening. Someone wanted you to come into some sort of fight. It was like fight and make up, fight and make up, but fight and F-U-C-K. It could be this um, this Knight of Coins. Notice the miracles, one small change. And take time to relax, recharge and replenish. Your inner strength is upside down. So you do. there's somebody who's definitely coming in who wants to date you, who sees you as being a miracle or a miracle worker of some sort. But the energy of them is very draining. It's very draining. Think new, see fresh. So they're going to come in, dressed to the nines, trying to make out that they've got loads of money, that they've changed themselves completely. And even though they are trying to change themselves, it's either too little, too late, or they're just not on the same vibe as you. And they are not, it's not going to gel. It's not going to, you know, if anything, it's just going to repel any blessings coming towards you. you the universe, God, Allah, Vishnu is not going to give you the blessings that are deserved to you. If they know that people around you are going to drain them and the boundaries that you have are so low that you allow them to. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, stay awesome. My readings are now open. Please know that um, once I have had, and I remember I'm filming this earlier in the day, so if you get to me and you email me and they're already closed, I apologise, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Um, do not get fooled by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. If anyone is reaching out to you pretending to be me, that, that on its own you know is um, a scam because I will not run after you or reach out to you for a reading. You have to email me, okay? Uh, with that being said, I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.